Commissioner Rapidan. Here. Commissioner Gage. Here. Commissioner Phillips. Present. Commissioner Johnson. Present. Commissioner Boyd. Here. Commissioner P. Here. Chairman Carr. Here. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Uh, we had <coughs> two uh, minutes, two meetings, minutes of meetings that we need to approve. We'll take them. Uh, an order, chronological order. So, Vice Chairman P, have you had a chance to review the minutes from September 10th? I have, and they were lengthy, and so were the ones from October the 2nd. Do you mind if I take them both together, or will uh, separate? That I will, I, if there's no objection, we can take them both together. But or, if they, or unless you have uh, changes, we might want to take them separately. That's, I'll leave that to you. Uh, like I said, they were lengthy, but as far as I can tell, they were very correct, and so I'd make a motion to approve both September 10th and October 2nd. We have a motion to approve both September 10th and October 2nd. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. No objections, and without objection, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes stand approved. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. Do we have anybody for public comments? Yes, sir. We do not. We have, um, thank you, Carla. We have one issue under advisement that is Michael Gregory for pause. Michael, if you'll come forward and if you'll explain to me your spreadsheet or the committee your spreadsheet, what we're looking at and what your recommendation is. Please. So we had uh, two folks that did Midwest Vet Supply and MWI. Uh, so I took those back, I went through those line by line. I also included a third column out there, uh, Zoetis. Zoetis is a company that we purchase our vaccines from. They have a published uh, shelter price list, so I compared the prices that were bid to that shelter price list. There are a few items that Zoetis does come in uh, cheaper on. So we just, uh, we award the bid just by line to whichever vendor has the best, best price or, or the best product. So I'll look pretty significant. Yeah. As far as as far as price, there can there can be some of uh, them have their own uh, private label brands, so generic that type thing uh, can make a difference. Okay. Um, I took my uh, just just for my interest to see where we were uh, this year over last year, and it, it was about probably 60 40 of prices staying the same. Uh, 60 about 60. There was a price increase, about 60 percent of the items. And to what kind of percentage do you know? Uh, I don't have a, a breakdown of what it was from what it was <coughs> for the percentage increase, but we do typically see uh, that every year. It looks like Midwest got the. Well, no, it does not look like that. It looks like. You have to explain the highlight in green. I thought I knew what that meant. The ones that are highlighted in green are the recommendation for who we accept for that. Okay, there's one down here. Which one? Uh, cow much crops. I think it's a different quantity, maybe. The whole time. 143 versus 14. Yes, that's what I was looking yeah, at. They jumped out. So they they bid theirs. Um, the 14316 bid theirs as a case of as a pack of 12. The other one is bid it individually, so it was, it was cheaper to go with the 14316. So when you did a unit pricing, it actually cannot last. Is that yes, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. That's good. So it's your recommendation, uh, Michael, to go with the ones that are highlighted in green? Yes, sir, that is correct. Across the three different vendors, Zoetis, NWI, and Midwest. Move to approve. Second. We got a motion to approve and a second based on the recommendation off the spreadsheet. Carla, make sure we attach the uh, spreadsheet uh, to the minutes. Any further any further discussion, Chairman Gooch? Well, on this Zoetis, what is what was that again? Zoetis, Zoetis, Zoetis. Zoetis is another company. They make a lot of the different products on there that um, that were bid, and there's certain products. There were a couple products that were no bid because Zoetis is the only sole source for those. So I compared the bids to their 2024 shelter pricing, and they came out cheaper on those items since they make those <coughs> items. So the recommendation is for those particular items to go with their shelter pricing versus it, the items that were bid. So, but they didn't submit a, a, a bid. It was just we could go with in this company if it's 
better or there's no other bid? In the, in the past, I've always brought in that shelter list if their prices were better and said, hey, this is a published, published out there for everybody to see, and we went with those okay. prices. Okay. Um, correct or not, that's the way we've done in the past. So I'm not. Uh, but I'm sure I've voted on it 100 times. Any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, Carla called the roll on accepting the recommendation of Michael Gregory off the spreadsheet for those uh, items that are highlighted in green. Yes, sir. Commissioner McAdams. Yes. Commissioner Gooch. Yes. Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Aye. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Chairman Clark. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great evening. Okay. Under new, under new business, um, I'm going to take things out of order a little bit. Um, Steve, if you want to come up, we'll do you. I think you want to retire uh, a canine. Yeah, yes, sir. <coughs> we were requesting to retire a 10-year-old bloodhound, Georgia. Georgia was donated to the sheriff's office from a gentleman out of West Virginia. We're out of Virginia. Um, Debbie Romans has been her handler day one. We're asking to him to take possession and responsibility of Georgia. Georgia, too old. Yes, sir. She's a, she's a bloodhound? Yes, and she has oh, found no. several people. She's been very beneficial. To the How old is she? Um, Twelve. Twelve. So an article, was, an article in a, was it in a paper? Or? Yes, sir. And yeah. I wasn't aware that they already done it. And I rushed to Carla Friday afternoon and said, hey, I need to go through purchasing like this. So I yeah. apologize. Yeah. That. You're, you're pretty interesting. You're, you're fine. Uh, what were the, if you don't mind, what were the circumstances that um, determined that we needed to retire. I just, I, I hate that because I know these are working dogs and yes. part of their life is working. And yes, sir. So. Due to her age, I was worried about her getting hurt or something happened to her. So it was just her health and her mobility that was she's getting where she couldn't move around. Right, you know, they full, full speed all the time. The heart was willing, but yeah, the yes. body was willing. Yes, I understand. Yes. Any questions for just Chief, when, when it comes time for you to recommend me, just make sure that my wife is one that you retire me too, okay? Okay. Not, yes. not this guy over yes. here. Yes. <laughs> 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 I, I, I have room in my sinkhole. <laughs> oh. 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 Are we getting oh another one then to replace her? Or? Yes, later on in the year, but we have, we're going to find one to replace her. We've got another bloodhound that's on the force, but we're going to replace George with another one. We've got it in our budget. Okay. We've got to find the good one that would be yeah. willing to. Are you, do, you, do you replace with another bloodhound, or you go with another breed, or you try to stay with another bloodhound? Another bloodhound. We've been very successful in finding yeah. missing children. I got a couple of bassets who don't train real well, but you would find entertaining if that would help. Yes. <laughs> We've got enough entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do. Uh, all right, well, we've discussed this. Uh, um, do I, I think I need a motion to accept. Motion to accept. we got a motion to accept. Do we have a second? second. And second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 I'll oppose, the ayes have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you very, very much. Have a good night. Appreciate you taking our banter. It's uh, <laughs> yes. what we like to do sometimes. Uh, Adam, Mr. Spence. you have a change order for us, I believe, on a convenience center? Yes. So, you wanted to describe what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it? Yes, sir. Uh, so, in the process of the, uh, the renovations over at the Recycle Center, uh, there were a couple minor uh, things that we found, unforeseen. Um, we, we decided to um, up, upsize the HVAC unit to, uh, to, a, to a larger model, which required a larger slab than the existing slab. Um, we we ended up running new electrical service for the HVAC, HVAC system. Uh, what, when we got in there, it was determined that the wiring was, was in poor shape. It was old, and uh, we thought it, it was in our best interest to go ahead and pull new service wire. So that's some of, that's some of this. Um, HVAC slab, HVAC uh, wiring, and um, some other little minor modifications that we decided to make. Uh, we put in a uh, we put in an access door so that we could access the, the attic and uh, get to some mechanical equipment. Uh, that pretty much sums up this change order. Um, What's the amount? Uh, Fifty uh, five thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars was the total. 
5920? Yes, sir. And this is the convenience center at Hagley? This is the recycling center. I mean, the recycling center? Okay, thank you. My fault. It's not uncommon for an old building like that. You can run into something that's kind of unexpected. Um, it is. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the change order. We have a motion to approve $5,920, $5,920 change order. We have a second. second. We have a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, if there is no objection, Carla, call the roll, please, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Adam, it is your recommendation that we approve the change order. Would that be correct? Absolutely. Thank you for the rec for the minutes. Thank you. Now, if there is no objection, Carla, call the roll, please. Okay. Commissioner McAdoo. Yes. Commissioner Gooch. Yes. Commissioner Phillips. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Aye. Commissioner Boyd. Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Chairman Carr. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. We need to sign this mm -hmm. as well. Um, we're out of other business. Is there any other business before the committee? Is that update? All right. Yeah, I'm going to get, I was going to, that, that was item A. I was okay. She's got both. I'm fine trying to, what do we got? Am I missing? This, oh, oh yeah. yeah, the update. Mm -hmm. my, my apologies. Um, so uh, back in May, uh, the uh, Tennessee General Assembly amended the private act uh, regarding the um, purchasing and are currently the purchasing act or the private act regarding purchasing our rules do not reflect the private act and so this is to ratify or change our rules carla has a copy of the rules if you can see them to reflect the private act that was passed by the general assembly it's just the, it's a language change i think it was twenty-five thousand to fifty thousand, if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. yes that was the only change. Yes, it's just to change what we have online. Um, Nick brought it to our attention that we needed to update our purchasing mm -hmm. policies to reflect the private eyes. Yes. Basically, it's what I underlined over here. Um, right now, um, we have to get. Um, if it's between certain dollar amounts, which I did not bring all my copies up here. Zero to ten. Zero to ten, we have to do, um, need to look for statewide contracts. If it's mm -hmm. ten to twenty-four, nine, 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 then it's three written quotes, or, or no, to forty-nine. Now, if it's over fifty, that's when it goes to bid. Um, but I did not bring the one that I made my nets on. Didn't Nick recommend these? Yes. This went through a uh, commission. It was on May 16th, May 16th when it was approved. But the language where in there it was ratified. The language in there has gone through. Yes. yes. Legal. The, the, the language has gone through as this came from Nick as a recommendation to, up to the purchasing policy to reflect the private act. And so that's this, this is his language. Yes, and it's just to update our online version so it correlates with all of our paperwork that we send out when folks need to know how to work things. But do y'all want to read this? All we're doing is approving something that we've already approved. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're approving the handwritten, the, the writing of it. Yes. Well, and it's relevant because it is a purchasing committee policy and it just needs to be consistent with the private act. Does it have to go anywhere else? No, sir. This is an internal committee policy change. It stays here. Yeah, it's on the website. Yeah, it's on the website. If there is no motion, Move to approve, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I was going to say, we're, we're not going to sit here all night. We'll, it'll fail for lack of a motion. <laughs> Is there any discussion? Uh, seeing none, call the roll on this, Carl. Okay. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Commissioner Floyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner Gooch? 
Yes. Commissioner P. Yes. Chairman Carr. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now we're to item seven, other business. Vice Chairman P. Well, Correct. Every September we redo our committees and we elect chairman and vice chairman. On this committee, the chairman is always said, but well, your vice chairman is not, and we haven't done that this year. Oh, today. you're right. I, I so. have I forgot. Okay. Well, so um, let me let me ask uh, let me ask Commissioner Chairman Phillips. Uh, is that something we need to do at this meeting? Can we do it at this meeting? Or do what would be the proper protocol? I do not want to venture outside the lane of proper protocol. You're asking me? Yes, sir. Uh, you you, you being you being the long, but you and Chairman McAdoo yes. being the two longest people in the tooth here. <laughs> yes, we can. We can do it at this meeting? Yes. Okay. Uh, I I would I would ask I would nominate if I'm allowed to do that uh, re the nomination of Chair Vice Chairman P to serve as Vice Chairman. Second. We have a motion and a second. Are there any other nominations? Nomination cease. We have a motion for nomination ceases. All, do you have any objections down there, Vice Chairman P? I'm, I'm flipping a coin. <laughs> you better hurry up. We're moving pretty quick. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I think he's all right. <laughs> having having said uh, yeah, having said that, Let's all the all, all, okay. all those say aye, 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 aye. 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 the eyes have it. Um, our condolences, <laughs> and I did not bring that up to be real point. Uh, I, well, I just, I just I that. we needed to do that. So. No, you didn't, and you I didn't speak about it beforehand, and I want that to be clear. Um, but I think things run relatively smoothly, and there's no sense in fixing something that's not broken. So. Uh, with that, is there any other business? Uh, seeing that our next call, okay, we have a special call yes. on, on November 7th. That is to open the bids for underground work for the off-site utilities. The off -site utilities, which is the boring. Mm -hmm. And then we have a regular scheduled meeting on the 12th. Mark Lee tells me he, that five days is sufficient time for him to come back with a recommendation. So we'll, we should have, that meeting will be brief. It will require a quorum, uh, and but it's going to be brief because he's already said I need to take it under advisement, which is what we want. I think what we want to do. So uh, if that's okay, Thursday the seventh, four thirty, special call purchasing committee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it was it, for a single purpose, and that is the underground utility. Okay. Okay. And I know exactly. on that date we have a budget meeting, so it's not going to be a long. Oh, exactly. You're talking about the opening. You talk about oh, the November oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I can't imagine it lasting more than 30 minutes. We're going to go right. He's going to open them. He's going to read them. He's going to do the little spreadsheet thing, and he's going to then take them under advisement. So I would Down think 30 minutes would be more than sufficient. Seven or seven? Seven. Mm -hmm. Yes, seven. Yes. Is there any other business? Seeing none, we stand adjourned. Thank you.